Hey there guys, it's Misty here from At Home with Misty. Welcome back to another Keto Foodie Friday. Today I am sharing with you a recipe for a loaded chicken salad. This has all the yummy goodness that goes into a loaded baked potato, except we're making it into chicken salad. And yeah, so good. So I've got some crumble bacon, some celery, chicken, red onion, some cheddar cheese, and I'm putting this all together in a bowl. So I'm gonna start by dicing up my celery. I tried to find diced celery, but we couldn't find it in the store. Um, so it took me a little bit to get these diced up, but I just cut them in half and then I cut them the other way. And I don't have any like particular knife skills, but I do keep the tip of my knife on the board and try not to cut my fingers off. <laughs> so I am putting this in a one cup measure because I needed one cup of celery. And I'm going to go ahead and put that to the side and save those for the accoutrements for my lunches. I'm going to go ahead and dice up this chicken. The other night we had brats on the grill and I thought instead of trying to poach the chicken or bake it because it's hot here, I would just go ahead and grill this. I just put some salt and pepper on it grilled it and then I went ahead and put it in the refrigerator. Now at first I was weighing it out and then I was like nah I'm just gonna chop it up and I'm gonna put it all in the bowl <laughs> and then we will weigh it out after I'm done. So that's what I did here. I'm just gonna show it um, put it all in the bowl and get it ready to go. So I am using a stainless steel bowl and I didn't realize just how visible I was going to see be, but you can see my ugly mug. So I am measuring out my green, um, excuse me, my red onions. This recipe called for green onions, but I didn't want to buy an entire bunch just for this recipe. Rob doesn't like onions, so he won't eat them. And I'm going to use the remainder in a tuna salad. So I'm measuring out my bacon. And then after my bacon, I'm going to add in my shredded cheese. Um, I'm just using pre-shredded. I know that it's got potato starch in it, but it doesn't really do anything to my blood sugar. So I use it. Plus, it's a little hard for me to grate cheese right now. So if you don't have one of these measures that you can just plop the stuff in and then push it out, you need one. <laughs> so there you see that I measured out the mayonnaise and now I'm gonna measure out the sour cream. This recipe actually called for more sour cream than it did mayonnaise and it was so good. I mean, this literally tasted like you put some grilled chicken into a baked potato, a load of baked potato, of course, without the potato, but it was really, really good. And I really enjoyed it. And you guys know me, if you follow me for a while, I don't like leftovers and I don't like to eat the same thing every day. I ate this four days in a row. It was so good. So I'm plopping in, the <laughs> I'm plopping in that um, sour cream. And then I'm going to start stirring this up with a wooden spatula or spoon. And then I'm like, this is not working so well. Let me switch to some gloves. So I bought a box of gloves, um, non-latex gloves that I keep in my pantry. Anytime I need to mix something with my hands or if I'm using jalapenos, I will just put on these gloves to get everything mixed in. So I'm going to add in some salt and pepper and then call this a day. This was really, really, really tasty. To finish out the meal prep, I went ahead and sliced up the rest of the celery and cut up some strawberries. I'm adding berries back into my diet for this week. So I put um, 250 grams of the chicken salad and 100 grams each of the strawberries and the celery. It turned out really, really good. I got these containers on Amazon and I will try to find them to link them down below. So thank you so much. You'll find the recipe in the description box. Give it a try. It was so, 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 so good. And I'm anxious to try it with just some regular poached chicken to see if that may change the flavor. Um, the great thing about grilling, though, is that I can do it all at one time and I don't have to heat my house up. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I will catch you in the next one. Bye for now.